Hey YouTube, it's Kevin Brown right here with the next episode of Geographic Geography. Now I know the camera's a little tilted and everything. That's because the pillow I'm putting on is kind of laying sideways. So don't worry, the house is not literally facing like this. <laughs> That'd be pretty awkward. Okay, today's episode we'll be doing is Bikini Addle. Bikini Addle is an uninhabited, low-lying coral atoll in the Marshall Islands. Like most of the Marshall Islands, Bikini Atoll is low-lying, rising to no more than about 3 meters, or just 10 feet, above sea level. The island was once inhabited on the island of Bikini, but the village is condemned and no longer suitable since the bombings during the war. Also like most of the Marshall Islands, Bikini, Bikini Atoll was bombed a lot during World War II. The, US, you know, the USS Sarato Saratoga was a ship that was carrying mutations, kind of like Lusitania. Well, it was sailing off the coast of Bikini Atoll, actually inside of it. It was bombed on July 25th, 1946, and sunk in just about an hour or so. Today, the wreckage of that boat lies in just about 50 feet of water. Another, there's also the Castel Bravo, which is a code-given name for the area. There's also a couple tanks and building, there's also a couple tanks and other stuff that lie below the water. Bikini Atoll has quite a couple of cultural references to it, such as the naval club there that meets in one of the buildings on one of the abandoned islands every couple of months just to swim in the lagoon. Bikini Atoll does have a lagoon, I think, in the northwestern area of it, or maybe just the northern area. They say that because of radiation sickness with the bombing, swimming there might minus three months of your might take away three months of your life. But hey, it's a nice swim. The island of Anu still has an airport there that is still able to be used to get to the island since you can't get to there by ship anymore. Bikini Atoll. Oh is definitely well known for its historical events. Another one of the cultural references it has is the popular children's television series SpongeBob SquarePants lives in Bikini Bottom, which is actually based off of Bikini Atoll, as the guy who created it mentions in various websites and trailers for the show and everything. Even though some of the city areas are also based off Seattle, it's originally based off of Bikini Atoll. Now, no one can live on Bikini Atoll today because of radiation sickness. They fear that eating the plants and fish there could cause radioactivity inside humans. And last I checked, I, I, look, I hate biology and the study of what's supposed to be in a human and what not. But I do know that humans are not supposed to eat radioactive food. That's not good. So yeah, Bikini Atoll is rarely visited today. Eh? And the people who lived in the village were dismissed after the village was condemned. As of 1977, the island is safe to walk on, but not safe to live on because of the food radiation. So the people there decided not to resettle. As of August 8, 2010, or August 3, 2010, the island was listed by UNESCEO as a, as a World Heritage Site. So therefore, it's now completely uninhabitable and inhospitable. So, yeah, basically don't live there. It's not a great place to live because of the food radiation sickness there. Overall, I find Bikini Atoll pretty interesting with all the attacks it received and all its cultural references. Well, that pretty much wraps up this episode of Geographic Geography. Next episode, I'm going to be doing Yellowstone National Park. See ya.